I've been riding this Labyrinth Agile for the last three months. It really suits the riding I do. Running skills courses, trips out to Europe for big mountain riding like a uh, recent trip to Basque mountain biking in northwest Spain, riding my local Hebden Bridge trails and days out to the peak, Lake District, Shropshire, that kind of thing. Labyrinth bikes are designed in France and they're a new brand to the UK, distributed here by Windwave who also bring in brands like Marzocchi and FSA. This frame's available in black, white, or the fantastic, super shiny polished one that I've got. In the build here are reliable, good performing parts, ideal for the riding that I do. 160mm Marzocchi 55RC3 type fork, best fork I've ever ridden, works spot on with the Marzocchi Rocco rear shock. Both are plush and active, and both sit nicely in their travel when you're riding, ramping up strongly when you hit rougher ground or take bigger impacts like drops. I've had these forks now for two years, no reliability issues. Other highlight parts are the excellent Hope Hoops with Pro 2 Evo hubs, Mavic 71 rims, fitted with my favourite tyres, the Black Chili Compound Continental Rubber Queens. I've got gravity light cranks on here and gravity 777 wide as you like bars. Finally I've been running an X-Fusion high low adjustable seat post. I've reviewed all these components and you'll find them in the reviews section of the Great Rock website. The Agile is a good handling, stable bike. Bottom bracket's low, making it great fun in the corners. I do get pedal strikes sometimes, especially on technical climbs, but as long as you don't run too much sag in the shock, this is not a big deal. Head angle is about 66 and a half degrees, slack enough to inspire confidence at speed or on slow tech riding without it being floppy on climbs or in tighter turns. You could do with a little more clearance at the seat stay bridge at the back of the tyres. It's fine with my large volume 2.2 rubber queens, but a 2.5 downhill tyre would be tight. <laughs> There's 150mm of rear travel. I find some 6 inch bikes can be a bit linear. Yeah, you can feel like you're losing some of the pop when you pump the bike, but not with the Agile. On twisted thumb trails, you really feel what the bike is doing. And when you pump to generate speed or do a bunny hop, you get instant response. It doesn't just soak up your efforts in the travel, in other words, and you're not feeling like, I want a short travel bike as well. This bike you can ride all the time. Weight-wise, you can build this frame up at 30 pounds, but my build's a couple of pounds heavier than that, as I just want the security and less maintenance over the year that comes with fitting burlier bits. For the record, I've been jet washing the bike mercilessly and all the bearings are still running sweet. Overall I've been really happy with the Labyrinth so far. It's a great fun, very capable and undoubtedly pretty bike. You don't see many of them out and about either. It's a mountain bike. You can ride it up and down in the hills quite happily as well as being able to take it up into the proper mountains.